So these functions print and round that we're talking about, they are built-in functions, right? So what if we want to write our own functions, right? So how do we write our own functions? So we, how do we implement and test our own functions? So let's say we need to write a function to calculate the volume of a cube, right? So the first thing is what does the function need to do its job? And what does the function return? Or what does it uh, give us back from that black box, okay? So first, when you want to write a function, you have to pick a name for a function. Like, like how are you going to call that function? In this case, we just choose a name called cube volume. Okay. Then you need to declare variables for each incoming argument. So to calculate the volume of a function uh, cube, what do you need? So cubes uh, volume is multiplication of all the three sides, right? So all you need is, and cube is like standard, so all side lengths are same. So you need only this one side length, right? So that is the argument or the parameter, okay, of the function. And when you put all this information together, we precede it with the def keyword, and that is your function declaration, or the header of the function. So again, how do you define a function? You define by the keyword def. I'm defining this function. I'm defining a function by this name, the name of the function with these parameters. In this case, there is only one parameter. If there were multiple, you would put a comma, the second parameter, comma, the third parameter, and so on, okay? Then, what's written inside the function or how do you build, implement the function. So you write this with a colon and just like for if while you tab it, tab means all this belongs to this function. So what's happening inside the function is volume is side length to the power of three, right? So that's what this essentially is doing okay and then there is a keyword called return so return this variable called volume okay so remember the black box you're putting side length in the black box and you're getting the volume back inside the black box is what this thing is happening so you input the side length in the cube volume box, get the volume out of that cube volume box. Inside, this is what's happening, okay? Then to call the function or test the function is like this. So remember Python is top down, like every programming language is coming top down. So you will define your function first at the top of your program and down you're gonna write this thing. So what's this? You're defining a variable result one as what? You're calling a function called cube volume, which has already been defined up there with this input or this argument or this parameter. So when you give cube volume two, what will you get? Two to the power three is eight. Eight is result one. Then you're uh, creating another variable called result2, passing 10 to the same function. What will you get? 1000, right? So this right here is the power of the function. You wrote the function once and you can use this code 15, 20, 1, 10, 10,000 number of times. The behavior of this function stays the same and we can use it as many number of times. Example is the print function, right? We use it mm, like 15, 20 times we've used it already. You have used it already, right? Each time it behaves, it takes your input to the, uh, sorry, your output to the screen. Similarly, 
your cube volume function once it's written you can expect it to behave the same and if you copy paste this code write it and you can see it behaves as expected right so again recap how do you define a function you define a function with the def keyword give the function a name and whatever parameters it needs to accept you write them one two or whatever numbers put a colon tab and any number of statements that you want you have to tab them they will all be part of the function once you're done uh, with the function put and like press enter twice and your cursor should be in this line not in this line okay if it's here it's part of the function even after <clears throat> a few empty spaces it's still part of the function if it's in this def line then it's out of the function okay so remember python is tab spaced then again you need to uh, put uh, comments uh, before a function so you know that what your function does inside you can also comment but definitely outside the function definitely write for yourself what the function is doing as example given here Similarly, open the file, run it with different inputs, change these 2 and 10, and see your function will, uh, should behave the same. Okay, in this file, I just want to explain uh, one thing that, remember your Python is top down, right? So start reading from the top what's happening. So the first line is you're defining a function called main which is not accepting any parameters. In that function, something is happening. What is that happening? Result one is cube volume of, what is cube volume? So that is another function which is defined right after the main function, right here, right? So this is another function definition, def, def, these are two functions then what so f and see the line so in this def line the first thing is main okay what is main so this is the first thing so these two when the defs come so def comes it does all this saves a space in memory this dev it does this puts it in memory but it doesn't execute anything what's the first execution is this line which is the main when this line hits it calls the main function. What's happening in main? Result one is cube. It calls this function. So from here, it call goes here. From here, call goes here. This is executed, returned. Result one comes down here. This is executed. Call comes here. This is executed. Result goes back here. This line is executed. Result one is brought from here. Result two is brought from here. You see these two lines as output. But essentially, the first line that was executed was this. Because this line triggered this function, and this function in turn triggered this function. Okay? So the output that you see is this from here. And then the following slides tell you why you need the main function and what's advantage and so on. You can also do without a main function, but then... Uh, all this code without this def line and without this call starting from result one will be after this def of cube volume right here so this one two three four lines will be instead of line 20. so line 5 and 20 can go and 6 through 9 will be right here okay Yeah, so this is saying the same thing I will show you uh, in an example. So let's see. So this is the code when we execute it. Yes, well and good, we see that result, right? So now I'm going to do or make that change. So I'm going to delete this line. I'm going to delete this line. 
and I'm going to copy paste or cut it from there, take it down here, paste it. And now I need it in the same tab space, so I tab it back. I remove all these tabs because I know it should be in the def line, right? It should be in this line. So what's happening? Let me delete these empty spaces. So now the first thing you do is you define A. So all these are comments, these are ignored. First thing you do is you define the function, right? And then your program starts down here. Now if I run, same output, right? Same output. So what I did was just uh, remove these, this function and took this code to my main. You can do that or you can keep it uh, in the function, okay? But if it's all in the main, you need to define your function before you can use it, okay? That's the only thing. That's what all these uh, slides, like a couple of slides are telling you, okay? Then parameter passing, like I already said, parameters or arguments are the values that you pass to the function. So two here is the argument to the function or the parameter. So you're passing two to here. Here, the value or the variable can be named something else. When it's in the function, it can be something else. Uh, naming conventions, etc. So what's the result? Result is nothing. When you call this, side length becomes two because you pass two in this location, right? Then what happens to Sorry, this, this is a typo, it should be two to the power of three, okay? So two to the power of three is eight, it should be two stars here. Um, that comes in this volume, you return this where? Up here. So eight comes here, eight is now result one. So up here or in the main or down here in the main, the variables are different. Uh, but they can contain the same thing, okay? Similarly, just another example, uh, telling you that you cannot, or trying to modify parameters, a copy is passed and the original one is never changed. The same thing, if it's called inside the function, that's another block, so that's handled in memory differently, uh, as opposed to the call where you called it from. Okay, so again, tips are do not modify the parameter variables, etc., uh, because you can uh, introduce confusion and so, so on. Okay.